afternoon, my name is Alexandra Witkowska, and right now I'm 16 years old, but in a month I'm turning 17. And currently I'm attending the Prince Joseph Poniatowski Pied High School in Warsaw. And currently I'm in the third grade with mathematics and physics major, but I'm also interested in computer science and economics. I was programming in Python for several years, and after starting high school, I started coding in C++ and Visual Basic. And thanks to my school, I was able to attend the weekly classes at Warsaw University of Technology. For the first year, we had computer science, and for the second year, we had mathematics. Also, a few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to visit the Nuclear Research Center in Geneva, which is also known as CERN. And yeah, this event was really motivational for me, and I gained a lot of inspiration because of this trip. I realized that working for such a great institution is possible if I study hard enough. Also, another amazing experience in my learning journey was giving a lecture at Gdańsk University of Technology as a part of a competition. I was discussing my favorite subject, so optics, and I was discussing the concept of angle of reflection and optical fibers. I really like those phenomena because I can prove them easily with experiments in my home lab. Also, I think I'm a person who is willing to popularize science because I enjoy explaining phenomena to many of my friends and also I love telling interesting scientific facts. Okay, so now I will move on to what's my biggest passion since I am four years old. So basically it's dancing and I perform individually as well as in a group. So dance has taught me to be disciplined and consistent with my work. And also getting the dancers together and working really hard is really important. And that leads us to European Championships this year. And because of dance, I can express myself. I can experiment with movement, which gives me the feeling of freedom. And also learning physics is really important in the dance technique element. As you can see on the screen, the ballerina is doing a really difficult dance uh, element, which is with a pirouette and her foot near the ground generates torque. She has to keep her right center of gravity so she can spin in one position. She's not changing places, she's just spinning in one, one position. And her leg, which she extends, generates momentum, which travels back and forth, her leg and her body. So basically she can spin for eternity. Okay, another very important thing for me is that I'm a member of Warsaw Marathon Foundation, which taught me how teamwork is important whether it's handing the medals or entering the data of thousands of runners into the system, cooperation is really, really important. Also, spending weekend in such an atmosphere gives me positive energy for the rest of the week. And the last sport for which I committed many years is swimming. And of course, I did the training, I did the racing, but I wanted to take another challenge, which was the Junior Lifesaver course. And it was tough, not only physically, but also mentally because we had to fill the, uh, the heavy mannequins from the lake. And uh, despite my swimming skills, I was afraid that the mannequin will pull me under the water and I will drown. Nevertheless, I overcame my fears and I passed the exam on the first try. And now I think the most important part of the presentation. So what are the benefits from, uh, from the scholarship and why I want to get it so bad? So first of all is visiting Stanford University, which is my dream university, and I wish to study there one day. I think talking with Stanford University students would be very motivational and also inspirational for me, because I think after visiting Berkeley or uh, Stanford, I will know what precisely I want to do after finishing high school and after finishing college. Another point is networking. And for me, it's creating relationships to share skills, knowledge, and so on. And I want to create a strong learning community because I believe that meeting people who are equally determined to learn as me is really important. And the last thing is sharing the experience of the journey. I would apply all the newly gained knowledge into my life and also I would share the experience of the journey with other students in my school. Because I, as I said earlier, I'm just happy to popularize science and to share my experience. And some people say that sky is the limit, but I want to reach my full potential. So I would change the saying to the only limit is the universe. And that's it. Thank you for creating the scholarship program and letting me perform in the second stage.
and see you in the US, hopefully. Okay, so that was my presentation. I think Thank I can you for your time. very energetic presentation. And now there is a Q&A session. Krzysztof, could you please start with your questions? Thank you very much for the very nice presentation. I'm very rich this presentation connected with different areas of for your activities. But I would like to, to know your professional position uh, during the next 15 years, your dreams and ways. Okay, so I have a dream to maybe do some research work at SRI, which is Stanford Research Institute, because I'm fascinated with those experiments with this research, because I love working with people, and I think that it, that is the play. Where, where, can I, where can I work the most? And maybe when I said I want to uh, study at Stanford, Stanford has this really good value that uh, it, like, they teach theory, but also they try to, I don't know, set uh, stand-ups or startups or maybe do it in experiments. So I think the Stanford Research Institute would be a perfect place for me. I understand that you have some experience with cooperation with also the uh, University of Technology. How you assume this kind of cooperation of your your and your school? So I think that went pretty well because we had those scheduled classes and also the teachers were really nice. And uh, they asked us, what do we want to get from these lessons? What do we want to learn? And we said that uh, we want to learn a uh, visual basic or for example, school project or something. And they created a project with uh, will suit us the most, but mostly teachers uh, just organized this whole cooperation. So you know what I mean? It's like, I haven't done it, but uh, I really enjoyed the experience. Thank you very much. Alexandra, uh, um, you, you mentioned Stanford Research Institute. Do you know what is, uh, uh, what is the, the the name of the some some research of Stanford Research Institute or some some equipment they designed which was revolutionary for the, the, the world? Yeah, of course. So I was interested because uh, uh, SRI has this program, Women in STEM, and I'm really fascinated about this program because, as I mentioned in my essay. I really love how women can work in STEM. Like, you know what I mean? Because uh, as I said in my essay, my grandmother wanted to like encourage women to join STEM and to learn mathematics. So, uh, for example, um, I don't know if I really remember uh, the names of the women, from SRI, mm -hmm. but I'm really impressed by the, for example, research on economy, on business, you know what I mean? It's, I think, really important. Okay, thank you. Um, so I understand that uh, you see yourself uh, as a researcher, yes? Mm -hmm. Mm, and uh, in any particular field of uh, science? So basically I'm in between because I'm still experimenting, I'm still thinking. I think that's pretty common for a 16 year old, year old girl, but my parents are physicists, so they showed me the beauty of physics, but also I'm interested in economics. So I think those subjects are pretty connected because in both, you have to use logical thinking, and also you have to be creative. You have to, I don't know, new mathematics. And I think I do pretty well in mathematics in my school. And so I'm joining econ economic classes and also physics classes, so I can like get the most benefits. And after that, I think I will just decide what I want to do. Okay, thank you very much. Um, now is the time for a summary, Piotr. Could you start, please, please, with your opinion? Yes, thank you for your um, great presentation. Uh, I think that uh, uh, you uh, you need to 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 define a little more focused what what you would like to 
uh, to do because I think that you have a lot of uh, um, a, a lot of uh, areas you are explore. Uh, um, but I think that you you need to define yourself the, what is uh, what is the most important for, for you. Uh, but um, the presentation was really great. Thank you for it, and, and I keep my finger to, 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 to for you. Thank you. From my side, I would like to emphasize that it was great pleasure to meet you, and I believe that the series of successes will be uh, in future in your mind and your hands. And uh, please remember that. Today, for example, we met a group of very clever, uh, fascinating people from different places in, in Poland. And I believe that your cooperation during this uh, conference trip uh, and your cooperation in different areas, there's a very big, uh, excellent future for our country. It was a pleasure for me to uh, meet you. All the best. Thank you. I also enjoyed very much your presentation and time we spent with you. Uh, please make sure that uh, your friends, family and colleagues will uh, participate in the voting. Uh, because as you know, th this is a sort of three levels uh, uh, process. So now we are at the second level, but there will be the third one. And uh, sometimes in two months, you, everybody should be informed about the results. So we cross fingers for you and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much.